Ukraine is hoping NATO countries will follow Britain's lead in offering tanks to its army at a key meeting at NATO's Ramstein Air Base in Germany today. Eleven countries have pledged more weapons, but Germany has so far resisted calls to send its leopards or to allow allies to send the German tanks to Ukraine. We will continue to donate, continue to train and continue to stand by Ukraine. And it's not just NATO member states. Sweden's sending arms, including its archer artillery system. The key task of our state, of all of us and our partners, is to reinforce daily the feeling of the terrorist state Russia that they will not be able to achieve anything in Ukraine. A nuclear accident remains a real fear, with the International Atomic Energy Agency's boss Rafael Grossi in Kyiv to offer reassurance as inspectors are doing all they can to avoid it. A nuclear strike by Russia is another matter. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has posted a threatening message on his Telegram account. The loss of a nuclear power in a conventional war, he says, can provoke the outbreak of a nuclear war. Russia continues its rhetoric of blaming others for the war and forging closer ties with Belarus, it says, to avoid the risk of aggression from the western Ukraine.